So today, guys, I'm joined with Amy, who is another member of the first launch of Educating 8. And it's an absolute pleasure to have her with me today. So Amy, what was your goal when you decided to enroll on Educating 8? Um, so when I reached out to you with regards to Educating 8, I was nine months postpartum um with my little girl and having previously worked with you um i was just ready to ready i was ready to get back to it um my goals were very much health and nutrition and strength focused um rather than having a specific physique goal um i think the dialogue around postpartum bodies is interesting quite gross generally um and i was had a, just a weird relationship with my body um post baby which i think a lot of people do but i knew you'd be the right person um to help me with that and i wanted to focus definitely on my strength um, and just everything that my body could do rather than what it looked like so that's what we've been working on hi guys so i am joined with charlotte on this call who is one of the clients who enrolled on the first course of educating eight and I thought it would be good for you to hear from her about her experience of the course and what she gained from it and whether she thinks it might be beneficial for you guys so you can make more of an educated decision on whether the course might be right for you. So Charlotte, what was your goal when you decided to enroll on Educating 8? I think I had a, a collection of goals to put it quite <laughs> frankly. I think coming out of um, lockdown it was really good just to have something to focus on um, obviously been training in the garage for quite a while and in the garden which when it was throwing it down with rain wasn't optimal um, but just generally getting back into the gym sort of reinstalling that knowledge that I knew I had and um, just yeah just kind of getting back into enjoying it really I know that we took on like a bit of a maintenance phase to start with um, and then I think it was after two weeks I think we looked at and then we did a bit of a fat loss phase um so those are like my real goals when it came to enrolling with Educating 8. And throughout the eight weeks do you feel like you made progress towards your goals? Absolutely I am officially the strongest I've ever been and we've worked together before in previous years as well so I um I have been apps I've been working so hard um I think it's really nice to have a set eight weeks um because you just push yourself you really go for it i left nothing in that gym i really really gave it my all so i am officially the strongest i've ever been my numbers are the best and as and everything else is just falling into place as well everything that we wanted to um i'm just feeling better my nutrition is better therefore my energy is significantly better my body composition is benefiting as a result of all of the of focusing on the strength nutrition and health markers that we we set um so that's that's the least interesting thing that's happened to me during educating eight is that my I, I my body composition um has progressed but yeah i'm definitely the strongest and i feel fantastic to be honest i think the the actual process within my goals i know that i mean we have spoken about already but had quite a lot going on in general life but i think regardless of that the actual physical changes that were made and also like the mental changes that were made were really really beneficial um i know what i could have maybe done better and not eating so many digestive biscuits um with the fat loss phase but again you know having that awareness and having you to sort of like talk me through it and coach me and guide me and reassure me was um really beneficial and then like the mental side of things as well was just a bit around you know we have just come out of however many months we were in lockdown i was trying not to think about it anymore um you know we have just come out of that like don't beat yourself up if the scales don't say just what you want them to say in the morning it's really not the end of the world you know we sort of push on and we try hard and we move through it so yeah the actual reaching the goals i know that i could have been better at and i know i could have done more but the sort of physical and mental growth that came from enrolling i think was um like sort of the most unbeatable part of it really do you feel like from educate in eight you learned the skills that you need to continue to build on the progress that you've made moving forwards 
Yeah, I think with the goal that I personally have at the moment, for absolutely, but what one thing that I found particularly impressive about Educate and Eight is that you didn't just educate us on our individual specific goals. There was all of all of that edu- um all of the resources were there for that, but mostly I enjoyed learning about absolutely everything. So at the moment, for example, my goal is not hypertrophy, but the information that you've given me on hypertrophy, the educational videos, the live Q and A's with people that were, um, their goals were hypertrophy. You've not just set me up for progressing with my goals. I feel like I'm equipped to do, like to go down all kinds of other paths as well. Um, it's not, I just feel a very, very well equipped for everything that I might then, you know, want to progress towards. Yeah, that makes sense. And it's so good to hear that because I think one of my main goals with Educating Eight was to make sure that people not only made progress throughout those eight weeks, but actually felt like they, they learned why they made that progress and how they can continue to build on that rather than just feeling sort of like lost when they got to the end of the course so that's really really good to hear I just I can't believe you have managed to take a group of individual people who I mean this is a massive credit to you but you have a group you individual people with individual goals and you have created a program which is not only tailored towards all of them individually but you've managed to educate them all long term as well like the content of educate and eight it was just really really impressive i i don't know how you're just a wizard yeah i think um the fact that we still have access to like the facebook group and stuff is really beneficial so i know there were a couple of the weekly um like educational videos that you put out that i didn't quite get around to watching um but the fact that i know i could go back this afternoon if i wanted to despite educating eight now um well my enrollment being over and the fact that I can still go back and watch those is like really insightful just to be able to like refresh yourself on something or if you know that I think there was um I think one of the first ones you did was all around like the menstrual cycle not to give too much away um but you know if I can't quite remember the things that you specifically touched on having the ability to go back and re-watch is going to be really useful for myself and I'm sure other people who were um, enrolled at the same time. You mentioned the weekly Facebook Q&As. Do you feel like you benefited from those? I loved the week. I was just a keen bean uh, for the weekly Q&As, particularly because obviously sometimes you can't make them. Um, and so the beauty of it is that you can just watch them back as well. Um, and they're still there now. So it's really good to go back to them. But mostly um, it's firstly people ask questions that you might think are really stupid um but what's really nice is that firstly someone else has asked it which is which is always good but also then you just get this massive sense of community whereby everybody is thinking the same as you um not everybody because everyone's got different goals but there is definitely going to be someone else on educating eight with similar goals to you they're thinking the same things and we're all covering we're all just in it together so you're you're you don't feel alone you've got like this sense of community you can like i for one and um, i've been part of team db now for however many years it's been but i've made friends I, that I consider some of the team members to be my friends. We've supported each other for years. Obviously, I've gone and had a baby and everyone's still sending messages of congratulations and we can all follow each other online. And I just think it's you've just built this army of women who are just incredibly supportive of each other wherever you are in your life. I've made genuine friends through um, through your team and the same the same goes for Educating Eight. So it's obviously it's informative the Q&A but I do think that you've also managed to create this community which is just really unique. I yeah. love it. It's so good to hear and I think it's really beneficial because when you've got a good support network it just makes achieving your goals so much more pleasant so that's really really good. It does. And I don't have any friends. Um, oh God, I do. Um, but like, I have, ne- <laughs> I have never had any friends really that have been interested in training in the way that I personally like to train. So, like yourself, just love being strong as hell. Like, I just think that's such like, I just love it. I don't have anyone personally who I train with, and so you created this this world where I could not only like see what you know see things that interest me and I can learn from others but also yeah just just chat to people about our interests I I don't personally have any like a training partner or anything like that so um 
you've created that for me and I'm, I'm yeah I'm really grateful for it yeah definitely um I know at the start so obviously because there was a group I don't know how many of us were on um enrolling at the same time but everybody seemed to be kind of at different stages within like their I don't want to call it journey but their journey um you know some people in there were like brand new you know they uh, we're doing quite a lot of cardio and not so much like resistance training some people have been training in the gym for a long time and I think to start with I was a little bit almost hesitant as to what those like weekly Q&A's are going to look like but I think you did a really good job of covering everybody's questions in depth whether it was about you know something quite niche or something quite specific to somebody else who just kind of wanted to know if they could make changes to like their cardio plans and that kind of thing and I think it was probably quite beneficial for everybody even if that wasn't the question that they asked if that makes sense yeah definitely and so do you feel like you are equipped with the skills that you would need to continue your progress beyond these eight weeks and did you benefit from the accountability of the weekly check-ins with me on true coach Absolutely. Yeah, I think um, having a coach for me is, is really important um, because why would you, what's the point if you're, you don't want to, you don't want to fail or, or not meet your markers all week just to tell your coach on Saturday morning, oh, I haven't, sorry. I, what, what was the point? So I definitely think that checking in with you on an accountability perspective is really important checking in with you just for general niceness is great. I love checking in with you. I love hearing back from you. Um, but yeah, the detail as well that you can go into, uh, it might, it might, like you said, just be a message on true coach, but all of your previous messages are there as well. So you can see, you know, what you've been chatting about. It's all in one place. It's all really clear. And yeah, I just think I thought true coach was amazing to be honest. <laughs> Yes, definitely. Um, I didn't even think that, oh, I didn't even know that True Coach was a thing until you were like, oh, you're going to need to download this app. Um, but yeah, it's really easy to use. Um, the messaging service is really quick. I know that you can obviously go through and like upload that week's check-in photos and then you can kind of go through and see the ones, it's in like, what's the word? Um, chrono like in chronological order. So you can see the ones you've just posted, but then you can sort of scroll down and see the exact same shots that you've taken like week on week so you can see uh your like progression and how far you've come but yeah true to coach is like really really easy to use um i don't know whether it's something that like will always be open or you can carry on using with other clients but i definitely definitely recommend it <laughs> and for anyone that's listening that might be interested in educating eight who would you recommend educating eight to i kind of can't think of anyone who wouldn't benefit from educating a I think this all the time because there's so many people at the moment in my life who who will say things that I think oh god you can really benefit from having a coach just things in um if for, for example if if their goal is fat loss they'll just say certain things and I just think just need to be in a calorie deficit mate like there's not really I can't really do it um other oh, is obviously but there's just certain things that I just think people would really I think literally everybody would benefit from learning um about about all of the different ways that you can achieve your goals um I think both men and women I know that you're um kind of unique to training women but I, I definitely think that men would benefit from educating it I don't yeah I don't really know anyone that wouldn't and I also think that one thing that you have massively taught me is that um I, I wasn't training hard enough mm -hmm. so and I learned that really early on with you and that I think 99% is controversial statement I think 99% of people aren't working hard enough in the gym and I think that that's what you have definitely taught me is that I mean I'm on my ass after every session I'm training so hard um to failure and I think that that's one thing that so many people would if they just trained smarter and harder that they would get there a lot quicker and I think you are definitely the person to to steer them that way you know what I think that 99% would have been a probably like pretty accurate 
guess because I do think the majority of people like even when I see people training on Instagram or like people's training videos nine times out of ten they could have pushed for one more rep so yeah I agree with that but thank you so much for your time Amy it's been an absolute pleasure and I really appreciate your feedback as well I'm sure the people listening will um and yeah I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day for the sort of like general public like myself who train, you know, I know about my food, I know about my diet, I know what I like should and shouldn't do, but maybe just want to learn a little bit more. Um, but then similarly, I guess if you don't really know too much and you just kind of want to get your foot in the door, I think it's beneficial for everybody really. I don't think there's, I don't think there's anybody, unless you're like Mr. Olympia, I don't think there's anybody <laughs> who wouldn't benefit from it. I mean, if Mr. Olympia is in said group then I will for sure re-enroll and I will get back on that um but yeah I think it's I think it's uh <laughs> I think it's ideal for everybody I don't think Mr Olympia will be enrolling on educating <laughs> <laughs> that's really <laughs> great if they were <laughs> that'd be a great piece of like promo yeah. I'd just be in there to watch not even take part just to watch <laughs> yeah thank you so much Charlotte it means the world I really appreciate it and um, if anyone wants to chat to you or message you to ask your opinion on Educating Eight and check that this is all your genuine opinion, what's your Instagram, Charlotte? Um, it is my genuine opinion. Um, <laughs> don't worry, I'm not sending you PayPal details after this. <laughs> uh, my Instagram is just uh, at Charlotte Rumsby. Um, I need to be a little bit more consistent in terms of posting, but yeah, I'm always open to like answering any questions or anything that people might want to know about Educating Eight. Perfect. Thank you so much.